Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at the serverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to use the three Java comment types in your code. And as you can see here, I've got Eclipse open. I'm going to create a quick Java class right here, which I'm going to call Java comments example. And I'm going to make sure that the main method is added in as well. And you can see that boom, right off the bat, we actually have a little to-do auto-generated method stuff that's implemented through an inline comment. You can see the two slashes there. I'm actually going to delete that and just put in a little system.out.println message and say, hello world, because that always seems compulsory. And maybe I'll even just run this code to make sure that it works. Run it as a Java application and we can see down there it says hello world. So life is good. Now people like to comment their code. And if you want to comment your code and describe to other developers who will be maintaining the code, one thing you can do is add an inline comment. That's two slashes, a single line comment, and you could describe the code. You could say this will print out hello world. And that's referred to as a single line comment. And if I was to run this code again, save, run, well, I mean, I get the same output, everything works. Cool thing with inline comments is you can actually put them uh, over here as well. So you can put them after a line of code. They only comment out everything after the two slashes. So if I was to put that comment on that line, I could run the application and boom, it would still work. What you can't do is you can't put stuff on the next line with a double slash single line comment. You can see that I've got a, a white X there and a red circle telling me it does not like the content on that line. So if you want to do multiple lines, well, you got to do multiple slashes. Always nice to line it up nicely like that. So there you go. That is referred to as the inline comment in Java, and also referred to as the single line comment. There's also the multi-line comment or the block comment in Java. And that's accomplished simply by using slash star to start the comment, and then star slash to terminate it. And that's it. That's how easy it is. This allows you to now have multi-line block comments. Just slash star, star slash. Just be careful. Don't accidentally put a slash star inside of a comment. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. By the way, inside the block comment in Java, you can add multiple stars. So one star starts it off, but you can add a bunch in here. And so when you go into the code, you'll often see you know, people using that to increase white space. Even if I just click return here, notice that the tool actually puts in a, sla a star for me just because it wants to kind of make things look nice and, and handsome there. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's got to be slash star to start it, star slash to end it, but you can add in as many stars as you want. Be a star, be a rock star. That's up to you. But there you go. That's the block comment. Also note that the inline comment's still on the page. So you can combine block comments in one spot and then inline comments in another. Now here's the third type. This is called a, a Java doc comment. And this is a little different. Uh, a Java doc comment, this is a Java doc comment. A Java doc comment starts with slash star star, ends with star slash. And this is not like an inline or block comment that comments the code and describes it to other developers. Instead, this describes the code to other people who are going to use it, who are going to call this class, who are going to call its methods. And so you don't describe implementation details that you might describe in a block comment or inline comment in Java. Instead, you just describe what the class does. You might describe what the method does. This is the main method. And maybe you'll describe what the parameters do and what they mean, the parameters that get passed into the method. Uh, it, as developers, we don't generally create these. As developers, we concentrate on block comments and inline comments. When we're done the application, when I describe to others how the code works, we put in these Java doc comments. And they can only go in certain places. So they can only go at the start of the class and at the start of a public method. But the cool thing is, 
if you do have Java doc comments, Java will generate documentation for you. So I know what folder this is gonna put all of the files into once I generate the Java doc, and you can see there is nothing there, nothing being hidden from you right now. But if I go to project generate a Java doc in Eclipse, watch this when I say, yeah, build the Java doc, it's actually going to create a whole bunch of files here that represent the documentation for the project. I'll double click and open that up and you can see here it lists the Java comments example. And if I take a little look at the Java comments example, you can see it says this is a Java doc comment, which maps to the comment that I put into my code. You can actually even go in here and it'll list all of the public methods and all of the details for the class here as well. And so you can see down here, it says this is the main method. Well, look at that. You can actually see that commented as a Java doc comment above the main method. So there you go. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Pretty cool. That it'll generate all of that documentation for you. But again, that's for others to use other people that are using the API as opposed to other developers that are maintaining the code. So there you go. Those are the three Java comment types, namely the Java doc comment, the block comment and the inline comment in Java. Now they do say good code comments itself, but at the same time, good developers do comment their code. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, Jakarta EE, Git, DevOps, microservices, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And, uh, oh yeah, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?